We've dealt over many years, first not understanding what was going on with Dylan and teachers saying to us, oh, Wendy, you're just overreacting. They were just saying, it's okay, it's okay, he's a boy, he'll grow out of it. And finally, by third grade, a teacher said to us, no, Wendy, there's really something wrong. And I was like, finally, someone. But then finding the program to match the what was wrong was very difficult. We've traveled several times to Middle Tennessee to Vanderbilt and Middle Tennessee State University to get a dyslexic diagnosis. So with that in hand, we went back with the school system we were working with. They said, okay, but we don't recognize dyslexia. We do not have a program for that. When the opportunity came for him to have Miss Fugit as well as the Language Live program, which so matches what he has been missing all these years, it, it was a no-brainer for us to come. Dylan rides in a car an hour every morning and an hour every evening for us to come here and him to have this opportunity. The multifaceted approach that it's book work plus the computer work tunes him in. He's all into the combination and the phenomenal training that the teacher has been given. She is just so well grounded and Language Life has just been so good about resourcing her and what she needs. And then she's passing that on to the parent on what we can do at home as well on the computer trainings. So I can be cooking and listening and I'll hear him laugh or talk and then so I'm looking around the corner of the kitchen and what's going on? Because I'm thinking, oh my gosh, he's put on a video game or he's watching something on YouTube. But no, he's still in Language Life, but having fun with it. He said to me, he's feeling so good about his achievements that he thinks he's gonna be moved to the honors classes. <laughs> so there's nothing more a parent can ask for is that he just feel good about himself and then make those steps in reading as we go along.